Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here. Um, today's video is going to be a my version of baked honey Old Bay wings. Again, this is my version. Everybody makes theirs different. So if you're interested in seeing how I do it, then stay tuned. All right, so the first thing I have here is some, uh, about a pound and a half to two pounds of clean and drained wings. Um, wing section. So um, what I do to clean them is uh, just fill the, wing, uh, the bowl of the wings up with cold water and a couple splashes of vinegar, let it do its thing, then we drain it, pat it dry with towels so that we don't have any excess liquid. Then I just so show the olive oil, we're going to need a little bit of that to uh, drizzle on, some parsley as you just saw, some salt, a little bit of pepper. We're also going to need some paprika and some honey, lemon pepper, and then we're gonna need some Old Bay. That's the most important <laughs> ingredient in this recipe. So I need lots of Old Bay. And then we're also going to need uh, some onion powder and garlic powder. And that's pretty much it. So. Um, I have my one glove on because I hate mixing meat with my bare hands most times, especially on the videos. Alright guys, so first seasons I'm going to use is garlic powder and onion powder. Just season the meat to your taste, to your liking. Everybody's different. You might not even want to add these seasonings to it. You might just want to cook the wings with salt and pepper and then put the sauce at the end. It's completely up to you, but I have some garlic powder and onion powder. And then I'm going to put some. Then I'm going to put some lemon pepper seasoning. And some pepper. And then I'm going to add some salt. Most of these seasonings that I have in here have salt in them, but I'm just going to add a little more for taste. I don't want no unflavored wings, y'all. Yep, that's cool. Just a little bit of salt. And then I'm going to go in with not too much, but just a little bit of paprika. Um, that gives the wings color. I don't like my wings to come out looking whitish and pale and unseasoned so that's why I add the paprika just to give it a little color and then you guys know I do the most so I'm gonna go ahead and add some parsley just to give it some more color make it look all fancy and schmancy and then um, we're gonna do a little bit of Old Bay in it to give it that initial Old Bay flavor before we do our sauce later hope most of y'all are able to follow this recipe based on what you see me do and how much you see me put. I don't really do the whole measurements thing anymore. It's just very time consuming and I actually don't even cook that way when I'm cooking at home. So this is what works for me. So hopefully you guys can follow along. So now I'm just going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. That is going to bind all the ingredients together. Um, so that all my seasonings stick to my meat while I bake them because we did drain this chicken and then I'm just going to take that hand with the glove and I'm just going to start mixing all the meat together mix that chicken good make sure every wing is evenly coated we don't want no bland wings y'all so just go ahead and mix everything together I'm going to dispose of the wood. I'm just going to take my other hand and uh, get the cast iron skillet. Um, this was a mistake. <laughs> if you're watching this and you're trying to do this, I wouldn't even worry about having a cast iron skillet because I was just being lazy and didn't feel like getting the other pan. But the wings wind up sticking to the bottom of this, so that's not cool. Um, 
but it just proves that the wings are a little bit more crunchy so um, I'm gonna season my cast iron skillet with a little bit of olive oil um, and that is just going to prevent or at least try to prevent um, the wings from sticking to the bottom of the cast iron skillet now you will see at the end of the video that in my case this did not happen and that's because I put my wings on broil at the end so all the juice tends to evaporate once you put it on that high um, setting of heat and therefore my wings started to stick on the pan but it's okay because I like them that way they were still tender and fell off the bone and they were still crunchy at the same time so it's up to you whatever you want to use okay so my um, cast iron skillet is um, coated with the oil and then we are going to just go in and start putting our wings in but I just added a little bit more paprika for color because I really hate my wings come out the oven and they look whitish and unseasoned so I just added a little bit of paprika for uh, additional color and then we're gonna add a little bit of Old Bay oh my goodness these wings y'all all right so now that I have added those two things we're gonna put it in the oven um, I normally put mine in the oven on 375 for hour and five minutes total. The first half an hour, I put them in on 375, and this is what they look like after um, the first 30 minutes. So as you can see, one side looks a little crispy, the other side, not so much. I don't like gooey wings, so these are going back in. After I turn them over, they're gonna go back in for another 30 minutes, and then um, after the 30 minutes, we're going to put them on broil for about three to five minutes. I put them on a little too long. Um, and as you can see, this is how they look. They are still really juicy and good, um, but they were giving me a hard time coming off that pan. So just use a baking sheet. Um, so now I'm just tossing my baked wings into um, my bowl. And I don't make the sauce on the side. Honey, I just, since those wings are hot, I just make the sauce on top of the damn wings. So what we're gonna do is put the wings in there and then we'll uh, do the last step for the sauce. All right guys, so now our wings are fully cooked. We've got them in the bowl and we're ready to do our sauce. So um, this sauce is so, so easy guys. All you need is three things. The first thing here is our Old Bay. We are going to um, sprinkle just maybe one table, full tablespoon of Old Bay over all the wings, just like that. Mm. And you can just toss them up and eat them like this if you want. You don't need anything else. They taste good just like this with blue cheese, ranch, whatever. But we are not doing that today. <laughs> We're gonna have some honey Old Bay wings. So to that um, one tablespoon of Old Bay, I'm putting two tablespoons of honey, two heaping tablespoons, because most of that honey is gonna fall down to the bottom and be in the uh, the bowl anyway, in the bottom of the bowl. So that's what we're gonna do. And then what makes what binds all the all these ingredients together is going to be the olive oil some people will use melted butter I'm not doing that we're doing olive oil that's what I do for all my wings so I'm gonna put some olive oil on that and then we're just gonna get our lid and then we're gonna shake these wings all the way up just like you see at the wing bars or wherever you go to get wings this is this is a good method here make sure all those wings are coated shake 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 and voila Honey Old Bay wings, but first we need a little bit of parsley to sprinkle on there to give it that extra touch. Now, y'all know I do the most, so this that's just me. You don't have to do that stuff, all right? And the crazy thing about these wings, 
is that I cook them down so tender that they're falling off the bones. Look at that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> These wings are so good. I'm about to go make me another batch right now. Wow. This video is not doing any justice. Watch this pic here. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you try the recipe. Leave your feedback in the comments let me know how it tasted what did you add what did you take out thank you again for watching this video don't forget to follow me on all social media in the description below and tag me in your videos i'll see you guys next time